Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are continuing the Doppler effect and we will be looking at a sum that came in the November 2008 paper. Now, the reason I've chose the sum is because this is a sum that is not so straightforward. You need to use simultaneous equations to solve the problem. Now, if you look at the sum, if we read it carefully, we'll see that an ambulance travels down a road at a constant speed and it emits a sound wave or sound waves from its siren. A lady stands on the side of the road with a detector which registers waves at a frequency of 450, 45 hertz as the ambulance approaches. After passing her and moving away at the same constant speed, sound waves of frequency of 330 hertz. 380 heard. So we see that there's a sound traveling towards the stationary lady and then there's a sound and she moves away. Assume that the speed of sound in A is 343 meters per second. Name the phenomenon that describes the change in velocity observed by the lady and the answer to that obviously will be the top plate. Now, if you continue the sum, the sum, the next part of the sum, sum says calculate the speed at which the ambulance is moving. Now, it says seven marks here, so there's quite a bit of calculation to do. So let's just look at this. It says calculate the speed at which the ambulance is moving. So what we have to do here actually is to look at two pieces to the sum. First, we have to look at the sound when the ambulance is moving towards the stationary lady. And then we have to look at another one where the ambulance is moving away from the stationary woman. Now let's look carefully. It says, an ambulance travels down the road at a constant speed. The lady stands on the side of the road with a detector. So this is the lady, she's the listener. So the velocity of the listener is zero. Then we see that the frequency of the lesson is 445 hertz. So if we can write this down, what we can say, we know that the Doppler, Doppler equation first we have to write out. It says frequency of listener is equal to V plus minus V listener all over V plus minus the V of the source frequency of the source. Now what we have to do here is calculate the speed of the at which the ambulance is moving. We have to work out the velocity of the source. Now when it is moving towards the lady we see that the, the, the frequency heard is 445. 445 hertz. All right and then we see the velocity the V here will refer to the speed of sound and if we go look at this carefully we can see it says use the speed of sound in air 343 hertz and we see when it is moving towards it's 445 don't forget that so we can see here that this is 343 then it says when it's moving towards usually as i said in the earlier clip the velocity on the top will be plus and the lesson is standing still so it's zero all over 343 minus velocity of the source which we don't have and the frequency of the source is something we also don't have. So we see there's two unknowns here and you can't work with two unknowns. But because they gave us values for going away, when it's going away we see that the frequency of the listener is 380 according to the, according to the values here it's 380 hertz at the same speed when it is moving away it's passing her so you can see the frequency of the listener is 380 is equals to the velocity is v is the speed of sound that's given 343 and then in this case it will be minus because minus when you're moving away the top is minus stationary all over plus at the bottom 
343 plus PS. And the reason we can say this is because the ambulance is moving at a constant speed. So the velocity moving towards and the velocity moving away is the same because it's constant velocity. And the frequency is FS. So here we've got two sums. And if we multiply this out nicely now, we can see that if I write this out now, I can I can write this as 4, 45, and I'll take the bottom on this side and I'll multiply it on the top there, and I'll get 343 minus Vs, 343 minus Vs is equals to, if you multiply this here over the top, it's like saying Fs over 1, so it's 343 times fs, so I get 343 multiplied by fs, and then fs times 0 is 0. And then on this side again, we will get, if we multiply this on the top there, we'll say 380 into 343 plus vs is equals to 343 times fs. Now, if you look here, we see that both equations are equal to 343 FS. So, because this sub, uh, when it's moving towards, we can say 343 FS, and when you're moving away, we got 343 FS, we can say, therefore, what can we say? We can say 445 multiplied by 343 minus VS is equals to 380 into 343 plus Vs. And the reason is both of them are equal to 343 Fs. And if we multiply this out, if we take our calculator and we say 445 times 343, we get an amount of 1 five two six three five and we say four forty five minus vs it becomes minus four forty five vs and that will be equal to three eighty multiplied by three forty three and if you multiply that out we get one three zero oh, three four zero oh, plus 380 Vs. And if we take this even further now, if you must subtract this here, or if you put the Vs on one side, maybe that's a better way to do it. We put the Vs on one side, we get 445 plus, you say 445 Vs plus 380 Vs. And if we take this on the other side, we get 152635 minus 130340. Many of you all will know this, but I'm just doing it in detail. So you get 445 plus 380, and then both VS gives you 825 VS. And if we take this and we subtract it, we get Two 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 nine five, and if we divide both sides by eight twenty five, we we'll see that Vs is equal to twenty seven comma o two meters per second. So this is the way we will look at the sum. We have simultaneous equation and we can calculate the speed at which the ambulance is moving. Now, going further, we see that the second speed, a second question to the sum, it says calculate the frequency at which the siren emits a sound. So here we'll have to work out the frequency of the source. Now to work out the frequency of the source, what we have to do is we can substitute it in any one of the two equations. You can substitute it in this equation here because now you have your Vs, or you could substitute it in this equation here. 
So we'll just choose one of them, 8.2.2. So I'll just choose the one that says away. You could have chosen the one that goes towards, so it doesn't really matter. So you say 380 is equals to 343 plus 0 all over 343. It's moving away. So it's moving away. At the bottom it becomes, um, if it's moving away. The bottom becomes bigger. So the bottom is plus and the top will be minus. Let me just see if I did it the right way on earlier. Yes, 343 minus 0 all over 343 plus VS. So now in this case, it becomes 343 plus 27,02. And, and then we see that in the side we have our FS. So if you multiply it out, you say 343 plus 27 gives you 370,02. So you got 380. And then you take the bottom onto the top on the other side by cross multiplying. You get 27,02 will give you 343 fs and then if you divide both sides by 343 you see that our fs is 409,93 hertz so this is how we will do the sum related to Doppler, and I didn't number this one, 8.2.1. So this is a typical simultaneous Doppler sum, and it is good, excellent, it's basically excellent revision for exam, and I hope you take your pens and pencils out and work with me and redo it so that you can understand the question properly and be prepared for the exam. Thank you very much.